Hey guys, Falco here, welcome back to Let's Build a Castle in Starbound! In the previous episode we finished the uh, watchtower to the left there and now we're gonna look at the second tower, the main bit of the castle here. Uh, did I put down those flags already? I think I did that between recording sessions there. Alright, the uh, foundations here. I already made a little bit down there. But this is going to be the main part of the castle. They're going to walk through the little garden to the left here. And this is the first part of the castle you walk into. This is so this is the main bit. This needs to be the entrance hall. How do they call that? The uh, the main hall where the king is in his throne. You know, it's going to be the, that part. And upstairs is going to be more of a, a personal quarters for the king and the queen and all the princes and whatever. And downstairs is going to be more like a uh, st well sort of a storage. They're going to be nice rooms, like, I don't know, dinner room or whatever, or a uh, blacksmith room, stuff like that. But as l the lower you go, the more, um, yeah, less necessary the rooms will be, because I'll put a door downstairs as well to go. So you can just walk up the mountain here at the entrance hall to the left. You can walk in through there, but you can also go uh, through the back door, lol, downstairs there. But, so, so, so you can easily just assess, as ascend and descend this mountain here. Because that's the use of this castle as well. It's sort of a, a little nice way up this mountain. Because you usually just jump on this mountain, as you can see down there. It is a very uh, high mountain. It's, high, it's hard to get up this mountain. And this castle is going to help us with climbing this mountain. Alright, the background here is filled in. It's uh, pouring... Uh, rain outside as you can see which is really I love it about this game it's really atmospheric the, the different source of weather in this game is really great although it seems to uh, thunder a lot on this uh, <laughs> on this world okay, here I'm going to fix uh, some windows which is something it's uh, quite hard to do because you have to calculate where you're going into place these windows. I think I make them too wide usually. Yeah, there we go. Oh, and I died of starvation. Great. <laughs> I forgot that. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Two birds attacking me. This is one... Look at this. There's fucking birds. This planet is really, uh, is really dangerous. And the thing is, this is the first time I will die as well. Uh, are we going to fi fix up a little bit of the uh, bridges here to make them look a little bit more like a lovely bridge? There we go. Look, that adds a lot more to the bridge, doesn't it? Do some here as well. There we go. Look at that. That looks great, right? Usually when I make a castle or something in the woods, I just don't like to leave just the castle and leave it with that. No, I just want to add stuff around it, you know? To make the entire environment like there is a castle nearby so it's not just plain stuff and then suddenly a castle it's a little bit more of you see a little bit more um yeah what's it called see, look at that that water over there it's it's this is what i meant this is one of the things this is the second thing as you can see to the right there what's happening now the first problem is the weather here is terrible when it comes down to rain it pours up the entire battlements there and they need to like this make a drain every single time and as you can see to the right, there's another weather problem <laughs> I had with this build. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> the, the, the sandstorms. They don't give me that stupid root song. But the sandstorms to the right there, they, um, yeah, they place down blocks of dirt or whatever. And I'm going to have a lot of work on that because it's <laughs> it happens a lot, so I need to fix it up a lot. <laughs> And that's what I meant with uh, picking your environment where you're going to build your castle. Pick, pick a good planet. Because I made the, uh, the the quick decision to just... Oh, wait, stones. I made the decision rather quickly. Because I had an idea to make a castle and I needed the planet quickly. So I didn't just pass through 20 of them. I passed through 10 or something. And I picked the best out of that. And it was this one. But I wasn't on this planet long enough to see that the weather condition on this planet is absolutely shit. So there's a lot of um, cleaning up in this uh, <laughs> playthrough. There's a piece of dirt inside, God knows how that got there. Uh, it does give a little bit of a uh, lovely mood, doesn't it? All the sand and stuff. Although, if you can see, if you leave the door open like I did just there, 
there will be a lot of sand inside. And I think... I don't know if I recorded it, but I had a part in the episodes where <laughs> one of the rooms was just completely... Uh, was more like a beach than it was a room. It was, it was really like a beach. It was, it was terrible. Alright, the windows. As you can see here, they aren't, are they? I think they're alright now. I think this, this works, as you can see. I had a little bit of a... Um, what's it called? A little bit of... Wood underneath the windows to put stuff on. Like a, uh, a pot of plant or something. But I think I remember that I will change up the... Uh, the windows a bit because when I place furniture in this room you'll see that the... Pieces of wood there are too... Uh, too low. Too low down. There is a bird down there. There's another... There's just, like his pink brother coming up to the right there. There are a lot of enemies in this game and <laughs> they are everywhere. <laughs> it's kind of hard to build something uh, in this game without getting killed or at least getting um, distracted by those things. Look at him down there. And in the next castle I'm making, you need to have like a little bit of a cage thing going on, like a uh, an animal storing cage. And let's lock all these bastards up in one room. As you can see here, I had the problem with uh, the pillars, the wooden pillar things being uh, one too, too wide. So the torch is either going left or right, so I just decided to not put a torch there. What am I gonna do now? Look at this mess. Good lord. <laughs> you look at this. I think I keep doing this uh, cleaning up every single episode, so get used to it. <laughs> Oh. What am I going to do now? Oh, I think I'm going to fix up the um, the wooden pillar things and the windows. As you can see, I already I haven't even placed the furniture down yet. I'm already looking to fix up the entire environment here or the entire room. There we go. Okay. Not sure what I'm actually doing here because it doesn't make it look that much better actually. <laughs> Windows, it's something uh you know, it, it's it's kinda hard at episodes to just figure out what to do exactly because you the choices you make it's it's rather hard. As you can see here, if I put down the windows now, I think it won't be uh Oh wait. It, look, oh, it looks alright, but the first window is too close to it, as you can see there. <laughs> you make a choice about doing fixing something, you need to fix another thing as well. There we go. So I decided to make them too wide, but as you can see there, the part there is three wide, so to fix that as well. So I think I'm going to just bust out this window again. <laughs> I think I'm going to um, shove them all one part to the right, although I don't think that fixes the problem in this uh, situation. Let's have a look. Uh, Okay, I'm going to keep them three wide, as you can see there. Windows two wide. Although the, wi the last window there will be... Okay, oh, I, I think it works. It, it could work, this. Look at the lights! Ah, oh, it's autumn. Look at that. That probably means another uh, sandstorm is coming up. Oh, and it's dark again. Kind of lights. Fix some lights. There we go. Look, that looks good, doesn't it? Oh, no, oh, one. There we go. Yeah, you can see the window there. Yeah, well, don't know what I'm doing. What I'm doing there, but it looks kind of oh shit. It looks kind of strange, but it, it can work like this. There's like a bird inside now. There's not a sandstorm coming up, as you can see. This is going in fantastically great. <laughs> A little bit 
of stairs here. Because yeah, to put down, I mean ladders, to put down real stairs here is kind of hard because it takes up a lot of space. So a little bit of a ladder here will do the job. Now it looks more like a uh, rope ladder in this way, but it, it's alright. I'm, I'm not sure if I keep it like this. But it looks alright, it doesn't look that bad, so it, it, it's a good choice of, uh, of ladders. And this sand, great. It's already filling up the room here. There we go. It's look at the storm outside, Jesus Christ. Okay, what I'm going to do here is to make a sort of, um, I think I'm going to make like a ladder room here, where the ladder just goes through the t to the top and the rooms are to the left with a door. I'm not sure if that is true, if I keep it that way or I change it up. It's kind of stupid for me just to do the commentary on this whilst I've made this video like half a year ago. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen next, so it's kind of a surprise for me as well. But let's see. I mean, I like to be uh, proven wrong here. It's kind of fun to see if I just say, no, I just can't do that and I eventually just do it anyway. It'll be pretty fun to see. I don't know what I'm doing here exactly. I think I'm... Um, oh, look, I'm already figuring out where the windows are going to be here. In vans, which is pretty smart to do. As you can see, I already uh, calculated where the windows will be. There's a little bit of a thicker part in the middle where there will be no windows. The, the middle part is four wide as the other in-between pieces between the windows are two wide. It looks alright, doesn't it? If you don't look at the room down there, I think it looks alright. It doesn't align with the windows downstairs, but it doesn't matter. I mean, who looks at the windows downstairs? Well, they're upstairs. Nobody does. <laughs> oh no, see, I just don't uh, decide to make one ladder room. Or hall, whatever. Okay, so this is, I think this is going to be the library, isn't it? I think I make a, my library here. I always do that some, uh, some, for some reason. I always choose to make a library on top of the main room thing. It's kind of a uh, thing I always do. Kind of strange. Look at the look at the left there. There's like an entire. You can see just a mutation of dirt there. <laughs> God. Oh dear. Let's have a look at it. Do I walk up to the left there to look at it? Oh, look at that. Oh, it's not as much as I thought it was. But it's pretty much a, uh, a lot of dirt. There's even some water under the dirt there to the left. God. Alright, the upper... Uh, upper... Upper rooms here. Uh, I think I'm going to split up the tower here. If I recall correctly. I'm going to make this uh, one tower split into two towers. LOL, and it's uh, this is going to be the, the hallway where the left there, where you can see the stairs, is going up to one tower, and the right here is also going up to one tower, and it's going to be a little bit of um, air in the middle there, whereas there is no castle, it's to split the two towers apart. So this part is a lot of uh, calculating what you're going to do here. You need to figure out the, um, the amount of blocks that's in between it. I think I do mess it up a bit here as well because the towers will be a little bit too close to each other in the end because you don't want to make the towers too uh, thin. You want to make them wide enough to put rooms and stuff in. And I think with this uh, choice of width of this room, I think I have to alright tower, they will be wide enough but they will be quite close to each other if I recall correctly. Throw, throw the blocks out. <laughs> oh. oh, okay. That's the uh, oh, that's the first um, wall for the first tower, I think. A bit of a ladder here, or a little bit of a ladder, since it's a huge ass ladder. 
This is going to be the top here for this part of the room. I mean, I love building in this series. I mean, if you hear the, the birds and stuff and the, and the, and the soundtrack, this, it's, it's really good. I think they have the same um, potential as the Terraria makers at the time. I don't think, I don't recall who made this. There was something with a monkey or something? I don't know. But uh, the um, Relogic, uh, the, the, their formula for Terraria with the, mu with the great music and the uh, atmospheric uh, worlds and stuff. These guys of Starbound also had the same uh, same structure, right? I mean, the, the soundtrack is just fantastic. And if you can see, there's a little bit of rain, there are birds chirping in the background. It really, it really helps to uh, to soothe your mind while you're working in this. It's really good. So kudos to that. All right, the first room of the tower. I think this tower will have two rooms, but I'll probably. Oh no, wait. No, no. I think it will be two towers. Two uh, rooms. And I'm out of stone. There we go. Take enough stone for stuff like this. I mean, this castle needed a lot of stone. A hell of a lot of stone. So I decided to lay out this a little bit more different than the others. I do mess up the. Uh oh, no, there I go. Fix it. The symmetric part. No, it looks good. Oh, no, I'm messing it up. I'm messing it up. <laughs> the buttons in this game, Jesus. Alright, fix up the walls there. I'm making a right mess there. <laughs> okay, now it's good. Look at that. That looks alright. I decided to make the, um, the structure of this room a little bit more different. Instead of having the... Uh, stone as the background with the wooden pillars on the foreground. It's now more of the wooden pillars on the foreground and the wood on the background. The second room, which is going to be more like an attic, where I stuff like a lot of chests and stuff, you know. I don't like to have my chests in, um, in the main part of the castle. It's kind of messy to have that. I I'll usually always have like a room or a basement where I put all the chests in with the sorted stuff. The building materials and the swords and the weapons and everything. A couple of windows in there to uh, keep it uh, light in that room. Put on a couple of torches there, and there as well, for in the evenings when even the light, uh, the windows won't light it up. There we go. Lovely little uh, <laughs> artwork up there with uh, a Mona Lisa and a monkey man. I think the right tower is going to be the the highest of the two. As you can see, I'm filling in the backgrounds for this room because this room is going to be like a sort of an art gallery. Because it's, it, you cannot fill this if this is like a pass-through room. You go from the bottom to the this, the room be uh, beneath here, or left stairs to go up. You go to the left or the right tower from here on out. So it's kind of a, a yeah, it's, it's 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 a busy point in the castle. A lot of people will be passing through this part of the. Uh, Castle. So you don't want to have like all kinds of uh, bookshelves there and tables and whatever. You just want death. Yay! <laughs> Let's quit it there, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next one when we do the rest of the castle.